Welcome to American Patriot News. I'm Romeo. I've got a story for you tonight. I'm going to pull this up from the Gateway Pundit. Missouri and Louisiana file massive summary of evidence discovered in suit against the Biden administration with Gateway Pundit as a plaintiff, detailing government-wide conspiracy to stifle free speech. Now, we've all seen the Twitter drops and Matt Taibbi and we know that there was collusion with the federal government and every tech platforms. So let's take a look at this. The Gateway Pundit previously reported in May that Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt, along with Louisiana Attorney Jeff Landry, filed a lawsuit, Missouri versus Biden, against the Biden administration, including Biden himself, Anthony Fauci, and the Department of Homeland Security, and nearly half a dozen federal agencies and secretaries. The suit alleges a massive coordinated effort by the deep state to work with big tech to censor and manipulate Americans from the average citizen to news outlets on issues including the laptop, the 2020 election, COVID-19, vaccine skepticism, along with many other issues. In June, the Gateway Pundit began assisting Missouri Attorney General Schmidt's team in providing critical evidence, Facebook and Twitter censorship of Gateway Pundit on all these issues. And remember, Maricopa County went so far as to call Gateway Pundit not a news agency, like you don't have journalists, which by the way is completely blows my mind, but that's what they did. The case reached a crucial turning point. In July, when A.G. Smith and his team won a huge victory, they persuaded a federal judge to grant them limited discovery before the court. The Gateway Pundit wrote about the development here. This allowed Attorney General Schmidt to compel the government and Facebook and Twitter and a few other social media platforms to turn over documents and communications exchanged between the government and social media platforms in which censorship was discussed. In August, we reported that the Gateway Pundit's Jim Hoff himself became the lead non-governmental plaintiff in the lawsuit against the government. Since then, Attorney General Schmidt's team had been engaged in a slugfest with the government and big tech to turn over the demanded documents. Neither the government nor big tech wants to disclose the damning evidence against them, and they fought like hell to stop the disclosure. Since that time, numerous government officials, including uh, Tony F., have been disposed and testified in the case. Deposed and testified in the case. And former Missouri Attorney General Eric Schmidt became a sitting U.S. Senator from Missouri. The new Missouri Attorney General, Andrew Bailey, took over when Schmidt left office. Terry A. Daughtery, Daughty, the chief U.S. District Judge in the Western District of Louisiana is overseeing the case. The government is obviously very concerned about this case as it proceeds. On Monday, March 6, 2023, Missouri and Louisiana filed a massive summary of the evidence so far uncovered in the case, along with the supplemental preliminary injunction brief. The fact-finding summary is remarkable because it is the most comprehensive summary to date anywhere detailing the fascist government-wide conspiracy with big tech to suppress speech and thought during the COVID-19 insanity and the election and beyond. The summary is the most powerful indictment yet of the oligarchy within the federal government's disgusting campaign to subvert the will of and manipulate and control the public. So I'll leave the link to this article and you can go and read the brief. Judge Daughtery is expected to rule on Missouri versus in Louis, Missouri and Louisiana's motion for preliminary injunction in the coming weeks. And that is the end of the article there. So this is a really good thing and i would like to see i would personally like to see um the federal government held responsible this is a very simple thing 
although 230 exists, which allows companies like Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and even YouTube to make their own decisions about content, we have something called a Bill of Rights. And our right of expression and freedom of speech is like number one. You don't have a republic or anything even resembling democracy without the freedom to speech. It's the concomitant necessity for a healthy government that, you know, like we used to do it. When people said completely crazy things, you just tuned them out. You didn't listen to them. I don't need Big Brother to come in for me and decide what the facts are. And that's where we're running into problems. And the only cure for it, as Tucker Carlson said, is sunlight, you know, is a great disinfectant. Guys, Matt and I will continue to bring you the news as it drops. But this is good news here. And I hope you all uh, have a wonderful night.